if you are involved in the Mass Effect community at all, you'll know that right now a big topic is whether or not Commander Shepard will be in the upcoming game or not. In this video, we'll talk about if and why I think Shep will be in the next game, if people even really want that. Would it even be a good idea and the potential issues with bringing them back? I am Bon, and today I'm going to chat about whether or not I think Commander Shepard will be in the next Mass Effect game. If you enjoy the video and want more, please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will be notified when I post new videos like this video so I can get noticed. And comment down below with your own thoughts or to just help the algorithm. Okay, so what I like to do with my videos is, is to do a quick too long didn't watch at the beginning so you can get what I think and then continue to watch if you please. The too long didn't watch for this one is I do think the legendary Commander Shepard will be involved in some way in the next game, but I do not think they will be the protagonist that we actually play as. So let's expand on that. Whether Commander Shepard from the original Mass Effect trilogy returns in the next game or not is a huge topic in the Mass Effect community right now. Partially because it means a lot to everyone and partially because there's not much else to talk about. The only official information we have is a very quick hint in the 2020 Mass Effect Will Return teaser trailer that shows Liara picking up a shard of a N7 helmet. While this technically isn't referencing only Shep, there's lots and lots of N7 designated soldiers in the Alliance Army, I find it hard to believe that this isn't a very clear reference to Shepard, and it would be playing with fire to show this only for it to mean nothing at all. The added depth of Liara being the one to pick it up, considering the history of them in the trilogy and especially her recovery of him in Mass Effect 2, this seems like a pretty clear reference to Shep and it hopefully isn't just nostalgia that they're trying to drum up. An important question is, do people even want Shepard back? You have some people who say they will only play the next game if Shepard is our protagonist. Some who think they've figured out all of the secrets uh, from the teasers and say that Shep will be long dead before this next game takes place. And many others who seem to just be unsure about what they really want at all, or who just want a great Mass Effect game. To get in front of it, I would like personally to see Shepard included in the next game and there's a few different ways I think they can do that. They could do a prologue taking place right after Mass Effect 3 that could truly wrap up Shepard's story, the OG crew's story, and even have you expand on your love interest. The reason I think this would be a, a good thing is, while some people think that the ending of Mass Effect 3 was very uh, clear and had a great conclusion, I would argue that it actually was a complete cliffhanger and we have no idea what would happen after that. Another way they could bring Shep in is to put him or her into a Admiral Hackett role where they maybe aren't on the front lines, they aren't playable, they aren't even on the ship or with the crew, but they're still involved and they're still, you know, maybe commanding the crew or, and, and at least able to give some of that history and some of that context and some of that nostalgia about things that are happening in the next game. And then obviously there's a chance that we play a Shep again. If the game takes place shortly after Mass Effect 3 within a typical human life cycle, and probably this would require the ending uh, of the perfect destroy ending to be made canon. So would bringing back Shep even be a good thing? This is a hot topic of debate because there's very diverse opinions in the Mass Effect community um, who want everything from being able to play Shepard again to bringing Ryder back from Andromeda to even playing as a brand new protagonist that may not even be human. Personally, I buy into the idea that nostalgia is a powerful tool, if used correctly. 
and the Mass Effect franchise is in desperate need of a boost from the quote unquote good times to get the general gamer back after the disaster that was Andromeda and then shortly after Anthem. I know a lot of Mass Effect fans stand for Andromeda, some even consider it the best game. But the fact is that the next Mass Effect has to be successful and it'll take more than diehard fans to get the general gamer back in. And when the general gamer hears Mass Effect right now, they think bad Andromeda animations, story, and how the game was essentially shelved because it did so badly for them to work on Anthem, which then failed itself. I do believe the trilogy legendary edition that released in 2021 has done a lot to bring back the reputation of Mass Effect in general. Um, and I really believe that the beloved Shepard character is as popular as ever. Uh, I really think it would be smart uh, to, to bring back that and to try to play into that nostalgia. And for people who don't want that or want an Andromeda sequel, I would argue that this next Mass Effect game being successful, no matter how they do it or with who they do it, will be pretty much essential to a possibility of an Andromeda sequel at some point. So what are the potential issues to bring back Shepard? First, it would almost require the canon ending of the trilogy to be picked, and that will upset a lot of people. Uh, while the perfect destroy ending seems to be the ending most people pick, there's still a large percentage of the player base who likes the other two endings, technically three, and they would, you know, this could potentially make them feel like their experience and their headcanon with the game is being disrespected and dismissed entirely. Second, it would limit how far beyond Mass Effect 3 this game could take place because Shepard is a human and has a human lifespan, though some people think that the upgrades from Cerberus in Mass Effect 2 and Shepard essentially being res resurrected uh, could change that equation. We'll, we'll see how sci-fi they get with that. One thing that won't be a barrier is the buy-in from voice actors Mark Meir and Jennifer Hale. They've both been very forward about being willing to come back to the franchise when speaking in group podcast, and so have other people, including people like Seth Green, who played Joker. We also know that Liara's voice actress has confirmed she is back for the next game. To wrap things up, my advice uh, for fans like myself and super fans who have been around much longer than me is to have fun speculating, talking about what you want from the next game, and maybe even having some friendly discussions with others about the strengths and weaknesses of each other's hopes and thoughts and speculation. Don't get attached to anything though. I have my own hopes for the next game, but I'm also going into it with the understanding that Bioware is going to do whatever they want to do. And at the end of the day, I just want an awesome Mass Effect game to bring this franchise back to what it probably should be. And that's all I have for this week. Check out my gaming podcast, The Echo Cast, on all podcast platforms, including iTunes, Anchor, Spotify, and the video version here on YouTube. Check out my stream over at twitch.tv slash Bondiesel. I am at Bondiesel on Twitter, where you can catch my thoughts on various gaming topics and news. And that's all I have. So until next time. Mm -hmm.